bingo! Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm not sure how close I am to getting that Luigi impression spot on, but I try. That's 75 stars. That would be 75% if there were only 100, but there's not. There's 120. One. Oh, do you stream Admiral Vortex? Or are you used to? Oh. Let's see, that's just it. When I used to record Let's Plays for YouTube, just sit around recording, later I would spend all my time editing it, like, this time of night. And not even really editing, just reviewing the video, filling out title, tags, description, and making a thumbnail, and it took up more time than you'd think it would. And I was like, you know what, I'm tired of this, I want to stream more, so I decided to quit that, and stream more often. So here I am. I know I've said this before, but you know, we always have new people coming in, so they need to know too. Or maybe they'd want to know, whatever. Because I used to only stream once a week on Mondays during my daytime. Monday's like the worst possible day, right? Because that's like the beginning of the work week for everyone else. So they're not going to be around to watch... Most of them are not going to be around to watch a stream on that day. But that's how it goes. You stream random games, also League of Legends? I've never played League of Legends, and I'm not sure if I should. I guess there's like no reason to and no reason not to. I said like, do whatever I want, I don't know. But hey, this is Gold Leaf Galaxy, which, for a lot of it, it's like a mirror of Honey Hive Galaxy. Like, everything is reversed. The trees on the opposite side, and, or this hill's on the opposite side. Like, I don't think it's completely 100% identical mirrored. But at least this first part is, that's for sure. You love League? Hmm. I've never played it, so I don't really have an opinion. Although I do watch YouTuber Video Game Donkey, and he had some harsh words to say about it. He just got tired of it, I guess, but... Oh, because apparently he used to make nothing but League videos, but now he makes, like, really interesting content, I'd say. He has a really interesting way of being entertaining, and I like it. Bang, bang. So I'm looking for blue star chips, apparently. Is there one of them here? Oh, there is one of them here. Why did I go back down? I didn't mean to do that. Luigi, work with me, mamma mia. Love the homing ground pound, by the way. That's undocumented. The game never gives you a tutorial for that. I don't remember if the game came with a manual or not. It's been a long time since I had my boxed copy of the game. And when I had the boxed copy of the game, I beat it, beat the game with Mario, and then the game got sold to help pay rent, because I was really down on my luck back then. And so I never got to play through the game as Luigi on the actual console. And honestly, shaking the Wiimote to spin was a little bit of a pain, I'm not going to lie. So I actually like the controls here better, where I can set them up to be however I want. So I'm kind of big on emulation, I guess. Emulation's pretty cool. Bet you anything you'll find blue star chips around here. Boy, 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 boy. So I've got two of them. That's good. And I think there's another one down here hidden inside that crate. Do, 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 do. I guess a lot of games are fun if you have friends to play with. Or in some cases, completely random strangers can be fun to play with too, because that's what I was doing when I got into Left 4 Dead 2. I would say Left 4 Dead 1, but I got Left 4 Dead 2 before I got Left 4 Dead 1. And that game, I guess, was kind of already dead. Since 2 was already out. But anyway. Yeah, someone bought it for me. And I would just jump into random games with random people. And it ended up being a ton of fun. A lot of them had me as a friend on Steam. So they're really just acquaintances, is what they are. I have like 40 or 50-something friends that I don't even know very well. Who added me because they liked playing with me in Left 4 Dead 2. Kind of funny that way. Yeah, I think there are some things in because I have played both. And some things in Left 4 Dead 1 are better. Like you can do the right click shoving thing infinitely in Left 4 Dead 1, at least in the single player, or, well, not single player, but the non versus mode, the campaign mode. Where does this lead? Is there a blue star chip up here? I guess one big difference between Left 4 Dead 1 and 2 is how the tanks were in Left 4 Dead 1. They wouldn't just knock you down and move on to the next person. They would knock you down and then smash you into bits until you were dead. Then they would move on to the next survivor. They were a whole lot more brutal there, and I kind of like it that way. 
but maybe they must have had a reason for changing it, because I don't know why else they would. It's kind of strange. There's only one starship left, and I forget where it is. It's probably up there, to be honest, because I haven't been up there yet. Do, 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 do. So we can long jump, and then I think there's a cheat we can do to, to get up. Wait, what was that? Did he just, like, break dance? Hold on, Luigi. I didn't know you had moves. That's crazy, man. Look at that break dancing or whatever. But yeah, if you spin, you can get directly up here. I think normally you just have to use that, like... I think there's a flower thing you can use to fling yourself up here. It's all the same, I guess. Boom, boom. No Mercy tanks, indeed. Oh, the No Mercy campaign. Yeah, that's from Left 4 Dead 1, definitely. We have a new follower, apparently. Zek Tech, thanks for the follow and welcome to the Sport Clone Army. I hope you're having fun. Because that's what streaming and playing video games is all about. Just a fun fact that you probably already knew. Resident Evil 7. I never got into Resident Evil. I don't know what it's about. Then again, that's because I've always had Nintendo... Growing up, I always had, like, Nintendo consoles. I never had, like, a PlayStation or an Xbox. I didn't even want one either. I was so into, like, Mario and stuff, and the other consoles didn't have that. So as a kid, I was like, Xbox pointless, PlayStation pointless, but that was just me as a kid. Wow, you can triple jump up here? Wow, Luigi's crazy. And I think the last star chip is above that springboard. There we go. What's that do? Full star path. Yeah, another new person. Always a fun time. The more, the merrier. Wait, hold on. I want all those star bits. Just give me the last three, and we'll call it a day. Also, that was an L, which is for Luigi, obviously. In Honey Hive, there's an M. Bang, bang. Played all the Resident Evils. The seventh one is different from the rest? Oh boy, did they change up the game? Hopefully in a good way. Shoot, I was playing Mario on the NES. The Super NES, or the SNES. The N64, and of course the GameCube, because Sunshine. Was Sunshine like the only proper Mario game on the GameCube? Like besides the unusual Mario Kart and Mario Parties? I think maybe it was. Oh, I didn't even notice that you omitted, omitted the E. I was like, what did you do? Change the capital capitalization of the C? It doesn't matter that much. Gamcube. Good job, you got the thing! Ta-da! Bada bada boom! That was Star Bunnies on the hunt. Feels bad. Mm -hmm. That's the funny thing, like, now that I've got the donation set up, I might have to keep a little overlay or something. I bet Streamlabs have something to show, like, the most recent donator or the highest donator or something. It could help spice things up a bit and, you know, honor those who are generous. Not that you have to be, of course not. I don't need your money that badly, but, you know. Oh, hello, it might be a little rough from here on out, but just do your best and you'll be okay. Oh, yes, indeed. It does get pretty rough because these galaxies are... Endgame galaxies. I guess they are kind of more difficult. Especially Toy Time and Melty Molten, I think these are. We'll find out later after I finish Gold Leaf. Oh yeah, there was Paper Mario. That's right, I forgot. I haven't played enough of the Paper Mario games. I think the only one I actually really got into, but still haven't finished, was Super Paper Mario on the Wii. But yeah, I missed out on Paper Mario N64. Because back then, my parents were the ones paying for the games, so if they didn't buy a ton of them, it was not a huge surprise. Well, I was talking about, like, proper Mario games, so that would exclude Pikmin. But yeah, I did miss out on Pikmin. It just didn't appeal to me from what I saw of it. But maybe I just didn't give it a chance. Boom, boom. Yeah, we have discussed Thousand Year Door, and you said it was pretty good. 
still haven't played it though. I guess they should at some point. I might have to buy a boxed copy just to officially say I own it, even if I do run it in an emulator. Because if it's that good, I think Nintendo deserves their money. <clears throat> the only thing I disagree with on Nintendo is their freaking YouTube policy, their content ID. They like to claim your videos if your music is in them. But for some reason, that barely even happened when I was uploading Super Mario Galaxy Let's Play. There was, like, no claims on those videos. And then the one that did get a claim was from someone who was not Nintendo, and so I disputed that one, and it got taken off. Which is weird. What's the name of the star? Cataquack to the Skies? I might do the Hidden Star instead, though. Because there's another one you can do here. You ring the bell. You have to shake... There, I have to shake the Wiimote to ring the bell. And the music stops. Is that supposed to happen? Oh yeah, because it plays the underwater theme from, from uh, Super Mario Bros. 1. And I guess there's a time limit, but I don't think I've ever been slow enough to actually test that. Good grief. This is hard. If there is a time limit, it is, like, really generous. Good job, you got the thing! That was a hidden star, by the way. I think it was called the bell in the big tree. I am the gasm. I don't know if I can make that face, but... <laughs> Either way. Always save. Because there was one time recently where I regretted not saving. I was actually streaming Thinking with Time Machine. I think that was just my last stream on Monday. Yeah, because it was Portal 2, Thinking with Time Machine. And the game crashed, and I had not saved, and I assumed it was auto-saving, like Portal 1 and Portal 2 both do. But no, apparently not. I lost all my progress. So what I did is I turned on no clip and skipped all the levels that I'd already beaten. That happened. And so then... In that second playthrough, if you want to call it that, with a no clip, it started auto saving, and I don't know why it didn't do that the first time. It was so weird. There are so many GameCube games you need to play again. A rapping career? I don't know about that. But this time it's actually Cataract of the Skies for real, so I should actually do the thing. I don't think I'm actually that good at rapping, and I don't know if I want to be, necessarily. If I had to choose between being able to rap and playing games, I think I would just stick with the games. I like the games. Although, you know, it couldn't hurt to do both. You know. Got a quack. Well, that's how you're supposed to get up there, maybe. I don't know if that applies to the Star Bunnies on the Hunt one. It, may, it might. Lift! Okay, so how do you do things? Even if you spin, you don't make it up there. Am I supposed to jump up here? This doesn't appear to be right. It's been a while since I've done this one, so pardon me while I figure it out, apparently. You're a music head, you love music? It's like, I like music too. But only certain kinds. And it's not that swear words necessarily offend me, but when I hear a song that has, like, swear words in the lyrics, my initial reaction is just like, Really? That's the best you could write? You got paid how much to make that song? I guess I'm just jealous, who knows. That, it's such a, that a song that I perceive to be stupid, someone else got paid to write. Good grief, I could write crap like that for a living, although I don't know if I'd want to. You're probably supposed to go here and do this. That would make sense. But wait, that just takes me back here. Oh, I need the B power up, wow. I really am out of it today. You know, I have a very strange taste in music, if you're asking me. I actually prefer a lot of the tracks from the games. I like the Mario theme and reorchestrations of stuff like that. That's, like, that's what I listen to a lot of the time. It's just 
video game soundtracks, especially this one. I'm not really much for mainstream music a lot of the time. I guess I'm just weird. But we knew that already. Doo, 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 doo. In a lot of songs, I'm just questioning their lyrics. Like, I'm sure you've all heard Uptown Funk with Bruno Mars or whoever. And I've looked at the lyrics to that and I'm like, what does any of this mean? What does Uptown Funk You Up mean? Don't believe me, just watch? Just watch what? <laughs> I don't understand. What is the true meaning of that song? I, I still wonder. What message is Uptown Funk trying to convey? What is the point? I'm not saying I hate the song, but... I just don't get it. And I've heard it on the radio at work so many times. They keep playing it on KKLD The Cloud and Magic 99.1 and all those stations. Cataquack is asleep. I don't want to disturb him. But I'm afraid I might have to. Oh, well, that was easy. Yo. Where are you going? Follow me. No, not here. Not like this. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Are you okay, Cataquack? Of course you are. You're a Cataquack. Give me your coin, Goomba. Get out of the way. Alright, which way are we going? I always get lost here. Well, that was a bit of a dead end. Yo, Cataquack. Let's go this way. Cataquack. Pathing. How does it work? I know where... Hey, hey Cataquack, I didn't tell you to stop following me. Come on. This is not where we want to be, is it? What does this do? Oh, wait, this is where I want to be. Cataquack, do the thing! There we go. Of course, you have to walk across this weird narrow ledge that you feel like you're gonna fall off, but actually it has gravity on all sides. So falling off, as far as I know, is impossible. It's not as treacherous as it looks. All right, seriously, can I just get past you? I just want to get onto this other side. Wow, really? There. Boing. Oh, you don't even have to be good anymore. They had lots of effects to voices like <coughs> auto-tune. <coughs> Shoot, man, I'd play around with auto-tune if I knew how, but there doesn't seem to be an app for that on the PC. I've always wanted to auto-tune my voice just for laughs. Not because I actually want to convince people that I'm good at singing. I just think it would be comedic from time to time. Oh yeah, some of them can sing. Some of them. <laughs> That's the sad truth. Only some. The rest are just wannabes. You're supposed to use a Cataquack to get this B power up, but I think if you're clever, you can triple jump to it. So am I clever? I... I'm extremely clever. Don't want to land in the water, though. That would be the opposite of clever. Also, don't want to get hit by the enemies, because that'd be bad. How do I do things? Oh, of course, the Cataquack, duh. He's an integral part of this puzzle. That's how you get up here. Sure has been a while. Do, 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 do. Auto-tune mics were like the auto-tune is built into the mic. Holy crap. This was horrible. Spin, spin, spin. Do the thing. Spin, spin, spin. Do the thing. Spin, spin, spin. Homing ground pound. Do the thing. Grab the coin. Jump above. That's it. Everyone dies. You're all being freaking irritating. Good grief, man. Get over here. Get over here. Oops. I'm gonna die! Someone help me! Okay, not gonna die anymore, that's cool. Okay, now I'm gonna die again. But if I can kill these last two guys, I'll get my health back, and they'll be out of my way, which is cool. Missed me! Oh, the homing ground pound missed. 
Ooh. After an epic battle with an Octorok, Luigi finally sent them back to Ocarina of Time, where they belong. The end. I gotta get the B power up again. This is taking way longer than it should. Do, 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 do. Let's do another triple jump now. Oh, good. You know what? Let's just use the Cataquack. That'll be easier. Sir, please. Thank you ever so much. You missed. Can I fly straight there from here? That would be cool. Probably not. Yo, Cataquack. Do me a solid. Do me a solid. So what happened last time that caused me to fall? That's right, I came up. I must have hit one of those bugs. Even though they're... That's right, they'd be running towards me because I'm a bee. Because they can't believe their eyes. At a bee of my size. A bee as big as Luigi. Now he's Louis B. Luigi B. B Luigi. There's the star. Good job! You got the thing! Ta-da! Ba-da-ba-da-boom!